All right. I don't think anyone will come up here for a while. I leveraged my position on the student council to make it happen. This is, um, the first time I've ever used my authority for personal reasons. Wait, that's not important right now. <sighs> what am I doing? What I'm trying to say is, we need to talk. Firstly, I have to apologize. I'm sorry for what happened last time. <gasps> oh, so it did. When that happened, um, I said all manner of things about you, and then I just ran off. That was unbelievably insensitive of me. I'm sorry. I had been planning on telling you my feelings. I just didn't think I'd end up shouting them in public like that. Hey, don't tease me like that. I didn't think I had it in me either. Ever since I started spending time with you, my life has been full of new experiences. I felt shock, joy, even outrage, but every time I've always been thinking of you. <sighs> now that it's come to this, I'm obligated to tell you exactly how I feel. <sighs> Here goes. I... I... Love you. <sighs> I feel like I'm going to die of embarrassment. <gasps> you love me too? <laughs> I... I'm so happy to hear that. Or should I say... I'm thankful. <sighs> My heart. <sighs> At this rate, it's going to end up like last time. It really is wonderful, though, to know that the feeling is mutual. <laughs> I'm glad I managed to open my heart. As of today, you're more than just a friend to me. That said, given my situation, I can't go public about this just yet. about this for a while now, but the way you address me. Yeah, that's exactly what I mean. You're on a first name basis with me while I've been sticking to formalities. It's a bit unbalanced. All right, I've decided. But from now on, when it's just the two of us, I'll call you by your first name. It's going to be a bit awkward for me, but trust that this is what I want. In any case, today marks a change. I'm not going to let myself be constrained by my family heritage. It's because of who I am as an individual that I ended up meeting you. Ugh. Look at all these things you're making me say. You'd better take responsibility for this. This is a start. Don't let go just yet. <sighs> you, yes, I'm here! Oh, sorry. Don't scare me like that. So... There's something I want to ask you. Um... Why do you spend so much time with me? 
It's gotten you into a whole mess of trouble. And honestly, some of the stuff I've said is really not okay. Is it because we're both Persona users? Or are we actually good friends? Or do you, by any chance, have feelings for... What do you really think of me? What? No way! Are you serious? You're not pulling my leg, are you? You really mean it? Wow! Uh... <laughs> Sorry. It just feels like a weight's been lifted off my shoulders. The tears won't stop coming. You're so hard to read. You're always so kind to everyone. That's why I thought you saw me as just a friend like everyone else. Lately, I found myself getting upset when I've seen you talking with Fuka. It made me scared that I was turning into a petty, jealous person. I felt awful about it. So, um... I'd like it if you had eyes for me. And only me. <sighs> so, will you? Oh gosh, what am I saying? I'm gonna go now! Isn't it interesting how the sunlight on a clear winter day seems stronger than it is during the summer? Perhaps it's because the sun is lower in the sky, and you don't have to look up to see it. I've gotten so used to this view, but no two times is it ever exactly the same. You could say the same thing about one's day to day, and to each life as well. The promised day is almost here. January 31st. Whenever I come up here, I get lost in my thoughts. I can't let it end like this. I want to protect it all. Thoughts like that. Since last time, I've tried thinking things through more rationally. I thought about that old lady and Michan-san and Kiyoshi-san as well. I wonder if Michan-san was alone until the moment of her death, somewhere no one could find her. I think the old lady wanted to be there for her at the end. To live means to be connected to other people, but life is finite. Farewells are unavoidable. It's sad to think about, but you and I will have to part one day as well. And then, I'll never be able to see you again. There are so many things in life I don't understand. It's filled with so much pain. You meet others, forge relationships, and spend time with them. And then, they're gone. Leaving you behind. Leaving you... alone. <sighs> when I think about that, I just can't hold back my feelings, but I understand now. That's just how it is. No two views are alike. No two days are the same. It's natural for everything to disappear, re-emerge, and constantly change. Life is both short and finite. That's what makes it so invaluable, and why one feels that it must be cherished. When you think about it, it's a miracle that two given people are able to ever meet in this chaotic flow of time and space. I believe that's why we find happiness in forging bonds and relationships with others. And it might be the true joy of being alive. 
It can be sad, but at the same time so warm. Beautiful because it is destined to end. And that's why I mustn't hesitate any longer. I need to tell you, even if this wish of mine is to never come true, I still want to tell you my true feelings. <sighs> um, I... I love you. I know I'm a machine. I know that I cannot truly touch you as a human. But I can't help it. All I can see or think about is you. I love you so much that I feel like I'm going to break down somehow. I'm sorry. I can't think of anything to say. Perhaps something really has broken inside of me. I feel so happy. Um, we should go back. <laughs> uh, I'll go ahead. It, it's too difficult to look you in the eye right now. Um, see you later. So, um... Please don't laugh at this, okay? The other day, I let Yukari-chan try a new dish I made. She liked it so much, she ended up eating it all. So I told her it was meant to return the favor for what everyone's done for me. But she got really confused and asked me what favor this was about. It didn't seem like she had any idea what I was talking about, so I told her the whole story. And when I finished, she burst out laughing. She told me I didn't need to do anything like that. She said, when you're friends, you don't keep score. Hey, I asked you not to laugh. Honestly, I had been so negative this whole time. I felt like I needed to be useful to belong here, even though that wasn't true at all. It was just what I was telling myself. I was being blinded by my fear. But understanding this made me realize what I really wanted to do. I've been going on about wanting to repay everyone for what they've done for me. But the real reason is a lot more simple. So, um, will you... hear me out? Normally, I'd ask your opinion on how best to do something like this, but... <sighs> I... I want you by my side. I want to be together with you. Forever. Um... I... I hope you understood what I meant just now. by your side. As long as I have you, I feel like I can handle anything. Um, I love you.
time. Do you think maybe we could keep talking for a little longer? So then I went to ask about it after class, and you know what happened? Miss Miyahara just wouldn't stop talking. She wrote out some weird math formula and said, it's beautiful, isn't it? All it did was make me more confused than I originally was. <laughs> Guess I'll have to go ask again tomorrow. You think so? I guess it just feels wrong to not try and understand something. Anyways, I decided to start being serious about my future. Remember when I told you about what happened to me at school? It was when I handed in a blank answer sheet for that pop quiz and I got yelled at by a coda. Back then, I just wanted to graduate and go to a community college or something. But after coaching those kids, I started to realize something. I enjoy helping people who are willing to give it their all. So, I finally figured out what I want to do with my life. Can you guess what it is? Hmm, close. You almost got it, Mr. Ex-Assistant Coach. I'm thinking of becoming an athletic trainer. It's their job to monitor each athlete's diet and help them plan their training routine. So I'll go to professional school once I graduate and then work towards earning my certification when I turn 20. Between the general education requirements and the classes for my major, it's gonna be over 350 hours. That's why I'm gonna start studying right now. Improving my writing is my first goal. It took me all night to finish that three-page essay, but those kids had a huge influence on me. I know I only agreed to coach them on a whim, but teaching them really made me think. I started wondering what I could teach my own kids one day, and I realized I didn't have the slightest clue. If you hadn't been there with me, I don't think I could have stuck it out until the end. And I definitely never would have thought about my future either. So, thanks. Uh, also, I know I'm always asking you to stick around and help me with stuff. I just, I kind of feel bad about it. I'm sorry. I realize now that I might have been relying too much on you. Oh. Why, why are you so nice to me? Are you like this just with me? N no, no, that, that can't be it, huh? 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 What? Y <laughs> you mean me? Uh, uh, uh are, are you sure? I'm not girly or anything like that, you know? What's happening? <laughs> Is this a dream? Um, me, me too. I feel the same way as you do. That's why I'm so happy. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I have to go. I've got to study. <sighs> um, I'm looking forward to us. please. Kushimi-san of Class 1C. The Student Council President would like to speak with you. Please report to the Student Council room immediately. I repeat. The President wants to speak with me? D don't tell me she thinks I stole the money too. Y yes, you're right. She'll help us, won't she? And if I talk to her, at least I won't have to trouble you anymore. Um, shall we head to the student council room then?
Good. You're both here. I apologize for the sudden announcement. The reason I called you here is... It's because people are saying I stole money, isn't it? Yes, that's right. I happened to overhear the rumors. First, I'd like to hear from you directly on whether you actually did it or not. Uh, um... Miss President, I... I... Senpai. Okay, I can do this. I just need to be brave. I, uh, I, I didn't do it. Well, I thought as much. You believe me? Considering all the work you've been doing for the student council, I can't imagine you'd be the type to steal. I fully expected it to be nothing but a baseless rumor. I just wanted to hear it directly from you. Miss President, th thank you so much. That said, we can't expect everyone else to be as understanding. As you have seen, people are openly sullying your reputation because they don't know you as well as we do. I'll figure something out for the time being. That's my duty as the Student Council President. Give me a hand, will you? I'd like your opinion on how to proceed. You've spent more time with Fushimi, so you understand her situation much better than I do. I wish I could handle this right away, but I have other business to take care of. You don't have plans tonight, do you? Come to my room when you're available. And I'd prefer you try not to be seen by anyone. W wait d d does that does that mean you two will be meeting alone? Alone? I'm not sure I understand the problem. If too many people get involved, it could draw unwanted attention. The two of us can handle this, so you... N no I can't allow that! Fushimi. All I have to do is clear my name, right? I... I can do something about it on my own. I'm going to demand an explanation from the teacher. Wait, Fushimi! I clearly remember what happened that day. You had a bandage on your chin because you cut yourself while shaving. I also remember handing the fee money to you directly. Or are you really going to say that this is my mistake? Fee money? Give me an explanation right now, or else... I am so sorry. You're right. It's, it's completely my fault. Well, Senpai has been... Wait, what? Well, the truth is, I accidentally took the money home with me. I've been meaning to bring it back here, but then I uh, completely forgot. What? What? It's just, the payment deadline was pushed back, so I didn't think it was that urgent. Then I kept forgetting to bring it in each day, but I, I figured I'd get around to it eventually. And, well, here we are now. How... how could you? I know. This is completely my responsibility. I'll make sure to explain everything. I'm sorry for the trouble. So there's the truth. I'm almost more dumbfounded than angry. How do you even call yourself a teacher? I'm so sorry. It's okay, Miss President. Everyone makes mistakes. Well, that concludes my business here. Let's go, Senpai. Senpai, over here! Can you believe I went to the faculty office and said all that? I even surprised myself a bit. This whole thing is just... <laughs> Can you blame me? <laughs> Remember when I said, I can't allow that to the student council president? <laughs> it's just, when I thought about you and Miss President being alone in a room together, I got really mad at even the thought of it. I 
I've been like that ever since I was little. Or so my mom says. Normally, I'm quiet and timid, but when it comes to something I care about, I get really aggressive. It's because I... Uh, um, Senpai, there's something I want to say to you. Actually, I've wanted to say it for a while, but I didn't think I had it in me. But I think I can do it now. Senpai, I... I love... I love you! Huh? What did you say? Oh, I'm so happy! Feels like something out of a manga. Um, uh... I hope we continue to get along well together. to apologize to the student council president. Um, is it okay if I ask you to wait by the school gate? I'd like for us to be able to go home together. <laughs> <laughs> 